potatoes. Today we're going to talk about compost tea. I make what's called actively aerated compost tea on a regular basis for my whole production system here. Now there are little ones that you can buy that are just a little kit that just have a little standard uh, aquarium bubbler, a 20 litre one. Uh, I've, I've needed a, li a little bit more than that so I've made my own. When it comes to volume, this is a, a 60 litre, it's an ex-calf feeding bucket. Um, hence the holes around the top. But this will hold 60 litres of brew, which is tons enough for me. We'll probably do about a 40 litre brew today. So the, the, ra the um, ratios that you want to be looking at is for every 10 litres of water, you need approximately uh, 10 uh, litres per minute of air to be able to bubble through it. So for a, a 60 litre tank, I've got a 65 litre per minute air bubbler to push the air through there. So it starts like this. Pieces of Alcathene hose. Put them together like this. And this one here has a whole lot of little holes drilled in it. All the way around. And it's made on a, put on a little T-junction like this. Air blown through here at a great rate of knots. Blown through here, back out through the little holes. So we get an intense push of air coming up through the, through the ring at the bottom there and bubbling into the water. Now, as a rule of thumb, if you're going to make one of these things, do not have square uh, bins because what you're breeding here is alive organisms. Bacteria, fungi, protozoa, as alive as you and I are. So we want to put them in something where they can swim around without being banging into things, which they do it at a fair, at a fair speed. Now, if you're going to get one of these probes, like this, you can get a glass one, or as this one is, is stainless. Glass ones break really, really easily. They might only be $25 a time, as opposed to these ones, 120 But please, invest in the better one, because you'll break the glass one, and you could run the risk of electrocuting yourself in your brew. I don't want to do that. Also have my cleaning kit, some Janola, and a good soft brush. And when we put the brew back into the back into the tanks for spraying, we need to have it through a, a decent uh, set of sieves. So what we're going to do is demonstrate how to clean the machine, make it work, put all the things together, and make sure that you've got it right. There are an awful lot of things that you can get wrong when you're working with microbiology and make a real mess of things rather than make things right. It starts with, if you've got dirt that's accumulated in your brewer, it may have gone anaerobic, and when you turn it on again, the anaerobes will take over or can take over your brew and make a real mess of the whole thing. You don't want to be putting anaerobic uh, organisms on your soil at all. It's going to 